hey guys welcome back to the channel and finally welcome to a spring of sorrow the gauntlet video i know it's a bit late it's almost a day late but i try to take my time with these videos so i can put out the right information so we are gonna go ahead and attempt the new gauntlet we are going to do the right hand side path because i had the best champions for it so before i jump into it let's talk about the objectives so the objectives on your screen are going to be six different objectives if you're valiant and basically if you just go through all of them you will understand that you can do one path with only cosmic and tech champions and you can do the other path with only skill and science champions so you need to decide which path you can do you can do both paths with either type of classes you can do the right path with skill and cause uh, skill and science or you can do the right path with tech or cosmic i am going with the tech or cosmic worry i will give you options for the uh, for both classes once we go through this uh, guide so stay tuned for that and yeah there are going to be two new fights one is going to be with vision on the left hand side that we will do on the next video and there is going to be a jessica jones boss which is not that difficult as it sounds but yeah we will go through that as well so before we jump into it make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below if you have any questions and we can get through it so this spring of sorrow has been the most difficult one in my opinion with onslaught and annihilus like some really annoying fights and also iron fist and to add to that they've also added Viv vision on it so i am taking the right hand side path and my team is going to be iron heart specific for onslaught and then i'm gonna use venom for all of the next three fights that includes your annihilus your gwenpool and also your jessica jones now there are plenty of the champions that work really well uh, there are a couple of champions that can do the whole gauntlet on themselves from the skill side of things is going to be shang chi and from the cosmic side of things it's going to be your serpent if you have any one of those champions bring them along i just brought in hyperion for no reason i thought i might need it but i didn't need them in the end of it but hey i know these all are like solos but trust me it took me a lot of time to get the practice in especially for the onslaught fight so use all the revives that you have that will help you and you can get through this the whole idea is to get the points not worry about the solos and everything i will mention my number of tries as well so to keep an idea like how it all started so enough with my waffling let's get into the nodes the nodes on onslaught are going to be stylish so dulled so you cannot crit your critical rating is reduced and pass the buck so whenever you will gain a bar power you will uh, you will get a power sting on you and intercepting while power sting is on you is going to transfer it to onslaught there's also heavy lifter heavy <clears throat> heavy hitter so onslaught is going to be uh, fully unstoppable when he's using heavy attack and also there's miss opportunity so every time you will dodge a hit on the special attack from onslaught you are going to get uh, in 10 percent energy resistance buff on you to a maximum of 10 for 10 seconds and there's also decorative armor so the defender will start with one armor or buff now i am using iron art here for a few reasons that the points of performance on this fight are going to be that you need to be able to find intercepts with onslaught and uh, uh, which is generally makes this fight super unsafe and then if you're not able to do that the only other way to do this fight is wait for onslaught to throw an sp1 so you have to not only master how to fully dex it but you also have to master how you can go in after the last beam uh, is triggered by onslaught which i am not able to master luckily i have an ironheart who is rank 3 and ironheart when she has five of those debuffs on the opponent she gets uh, she applies a locked on ability and that allows me to parry non-projectile so i can easily parry an onslaught so ironheart makes this fight easy now the way i'm working through this fight is i am just spamming my sp1s and i am only evading sp1s from onslaught so if you're not aware on how to do the dexing on it still there are three amazing videos in the community the first one is from my alliance mate steel 22 right here on on the screen another one is from our very own sim and then more recently uh dave has been back in the game and there is dexy time from dave check all of those three videos out i will also leave a link in the uh, comment section down below so check that out as well so the whole thing is that you're going to dex the sp once and you're going to uh make sure that you have those repulsors up 
remember to activate the pre-fight because if you go in with the incinerates that is going to be trouble for you because you know on stalks ability now if we talk about what other champions that can be used here uh future ant-man works really well here shocker can really do some really good damage if you come to the cosmic side venom also does a great job you can also go in with the serpent he does amazing too so there are plenty of different options that can be used if you want to do this with a skill champion you can also bring in shang chi shang chi can do the whole gauntlet himself from the science i personally used void spider ham works really well you can also use silk so plenty of option on the science part as well you can also use the Captain Marvel movie version, another one on the Cosmic. So I've mentioned all of these options. Depending on which path you want to do with which type of class, you can go ahead for it. Of course, they will be less objective when it comes to Paragon. I am looking at Valiant Objectives and giving you a guide for that one. So, once you have Onslaught down, well, I barely made it a solo. I, I almost died there. But yeah, just slowly that region saved me up. So, the... Re Again, there are other champions like Ironheart that you can use that can parry non-projectile attacks. So you can use Angela as well. So there are some niche champions that can be used. I personally find this fight is much more easier if I'm able to parry. Or if you're not, then Void is a really good option because all of his debuffs just constantly like melt away onslaught when you can't crit much. So that is also a really good option to go. Play to your strengths, bring your rank 3s and the team around it. If you have a rank 3 from either of the class, science, skill or cosmic or tech, make sure you use them. So, moving on to the next fight, that is going to be an Annihilus. Now remember, this fight came out, it was pretty annoying because it didn't have a wide array of champions that you could have used. Now I am playing to my strengths, this is my second rank 3 that I am bringing in Venom. Now Venom works really well for this fight because I can use my SP1 to remove the, his Rod of Atos. If I remove that then I am easily able to parry and I won't be obliterated and I, there will be no unstoppable. So the play here is to build up your SP1 as quick as possible and then backdrop, intercept and build up your, uh, use your hits and get it to an SP1 and eat out that uh, the Rod of Atos just there. And then you can parry easily. You have to parry the SP1s and the last projectile, otherwise you will get caught. So yeah, Venom makes easy work, especially with the Venom Relic, with all of those bleeds, he just really melts away Annihilus. So Venom is crazy for uh, your cosmic objective if you're planning to bring him in. Other champions that work really well, um, considering if you're going to use cosmic class, you can bring in Serpent. You can also bring in Gore. Both of them work amazingly well. Captain Marvel movie version is another one. This fight is all about how you manage this bugs unstoppable and the debuffs on you. The more, the lesser the debuffs on you, the less he will go unstoppable and you can play around it. So, uh, if you watched my previous video on Spring of Sorrow, there is a perfect loop for this. What you need to do is whenever you have and uh, a debuff on you with the... Um, uh, stifle you just uh, you just dex back and you let the unstoppable trigger and once annihilus uh, dashes into you you just go backdraft and then you attack just like this and you go back and use a striker and uh, you can if you have a champion that can kind of uh, remove the rod of atos can purify it or can nullify it you can use that another champion that really worked for me really well was uh, um symbiote supreme but then i realized he's not part of the objectives so i had to get back and get venom so yeah pretty straightforward fight backdraft intercept is the way to go use a champion that can remove rod of atos if not you can still work around with the stifles just make sure that when you have a stifle you just back up into your screen and let the unstoppable activate by the time he dashes into you with an unstoppable and you backdraft the unstoppable it goes away it expires so you can manage the fight like that I've also given different options on the screen so you can check it out with different classes so you want to attempt it with a different class so I hope that helps out. you. Now moving on to the next fight is going to be a common fight in both paths that is going to be Gwenpool with Adamant Axiom, Study loses the race, swipe left, the other left, unblockable specials and Metador. So the basic thing on this fight is your controls are going to be reversed every uh, I think 10 seconds. 
for every eight seconds and you have to play around it she's gonna throw those specials in between and also you will only gain power when she will throw uh, when she will trigger a special attack and on top of that if you get hit you will have eight seconds to use a fourth light attack combo six seconds to use a fourth light attack combo to dispel that um, a time bomb kind of that will eat away your health if you're not able to dispel within six seconds now the perfect loop on this one is when the fight starts you use parry and heavy and take when pulled to uh, to the corner then once the, she is in the corner you just spam your sp ones while giving her the sp1 the trick here is to make sure that you knock her down when you at least have half of the timer remaining on the reverse control cycle so right here i'm just gonna use my striker and then another forehead combo i want to get the controls inverted so i don't have to like change the controls during a special attack from gun pool that is where the trouble will occur so always keeping an eye on that uh, on that inverted control timer she is an sp1 i go in i am just using medium light 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 combo to make sure that it's simpler i don't have to worry about using a medium combo in reverse controls so that helps out then always i am trying to block or i'm trying to use my specials and waste time when the inverted combo timer is about to expire so that is the perfect loop you need to take care about and just spam your specials and venom being venom especially a rank 3 with the venom relic he is just melting when pull away of course you will need a little bit of practice with the reverse controls but i think once you keep an eye on and that inverted control timer uh, you are able to premeditate the movement within eight seconds just be wary about the timer and you should be good And finally, we are going to have the boss. Now, this boss fight is Jessica Jones, who is free spirited. So, a spirit gain is increased by 50%. There's cold turkey. So, I cannot use skill champions or champions that can cleanse because that's going to give me damage 30% of the defender's attack. Special burst drop down whenever she's going to use a special attack. I am going to get a heal block and armor break. And there's also Dawn of Protection, so there's indefinite protection that goes down to 14 seconds um, when you will uh, apply a medium combo, a heavy attack or a special attack. So basically that's the same, um, that's the same protection uh, node that is in AQ, so most of you will be familiar with it. And another one is going to be Critical Interruption. So when you will perform an intercept, you will gain precision passives, guaranteeing critical hits for the next 7 seconds. Combo party. Every 10 hits, you're going to get cruelty, but if you get hit in between, you take a burst damage. So this is like a fight where you don't want to get hit. And there's crit me baby one more time. The defender will take 30% more damage from criticals, but take 60% less from all other sources. Now, most important one is stoppable. Punish special. So if you punish a special uh, right after the animation finishes, you will get a grit passive and that will help you counter the unstoppable. So what I like to do is to push Jessica Jones to SP2 because it's, it's very easy to counter that. You wait for the uppercut and you go back in and you will see a grit icon with uh, a pink cooldown just underneath your bar of power that will help you counter the unstoppable. So. Uh, you play it normally as you do it in AQ, just keep an eye on the protections. If it's asking you to throw a special, you throw a special. If it's asking you to throw a heavy attack, you throw a heavy attack or a medium. And try to push Jessica Jones to two bars of power. Use four hit combos and block and let her throw her heavy attack. When she uses a special attack, you can just safely go in because the grid timer will come up. And you can use that to throw your specials and do all the damage. Some of the options are also mentioned on the side. So I hope you guys find this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I will happily answer them. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.